Hey guys, welcome back to Cats for Bass Fishing. It's been a while since I've been in front of this camera talking to you guys, giving you guys fishing tips and unboxing some crazy lures. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, there's three things I want to go over in this video. Um, one, where I've been and what I've been doing. I guess that falls into the same category, so that's one. Two, what my future plans are for this channel and uh, for the content that you guys are going to be seeing. And three, it wouldn't be a cast or bass video without a good old lure unboxing. So, we'll do that too. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. So, basically, where I've been for the last year and a half is I kind of forgot about this channel. I forgot, like, how fun it was making videos and just, like, kind of... I kind of forgot about fishing. I started to play video games a lot more, which I regret. I spent the whole summer kind of inside playing video games, which I wish I would have been outside casting, you know, going out there, getting the big bite, which I really love to do. And this summer, I'm going to be doing the most of. Um, I'm going to be going out pretty much every day, uh, recording it, and uh, doing it for you guys to see. Uh, I'm going to be making it really enjoyable. Uh, I've got some new set gear and stuff. I know when I was making videos back, uh, back like a year and a half ago, I, um, wasn't really recording fishing. I was just recording me, like, sitting in my room, uh, reviewing, like, lures and such. So, I really want to focus on, like, going outside and fishing and, uh, giving you guys that experience of, uh, like, fishing and stuff. So, yeah. Number two. Uh, I guess that's like uh, my number one point. Uh, number two, what are my future plans for this channel? I basically kind of explained it. I uh, want to do, I want to keep doing like, let's sit down and talk about fishing <laughs> or uh, reviewing lures and such, but I really want to nail, I mean, I want to hit the nail on the head of uh, fishing, going out, recording myself fishing, because that's what I love to do. And I want to show you guys uh, my tactics and uh, stuff like that. Just get you guys to be better fishermen because it truly is the best sport in the world. There's nothing that I'd rather be doing than going outside on a nice summer day and throwing my line in the water and getting the big bite. So, yeah, that's what I want to do with this channel. And, uh, yeah, you'll be seeing a lot more videos, um, a lot more good videos quality videos i'm gonna put some a lot more time in my videos and uh yeah just really make it nice so uh number three the uh caster bass specialty we're gonna be uh, unboxing some lures one the rapala scatter scatter wrap and uh number two the yozuri uh crystal minnow jerk bait so yeah let's get right into that so i got my scissors right here Let's start off with the uh, jerk bait because that's what I'm most excited for. This jerk bait. I saw it at Walmart and I was like, you know what? That looks like a really nice bait. So I picked it up. It was a uh, $7.94. I think it came out to be like eight dollars and one cent. So yeah, uh, little. It kind of looks old school. The packaging kind of looks like something you'd see in like an old Rapala box or something. But yeah, so let's get this bait out. Tighten off. That's how you know it's never been opened because it's got that little bread thing on there. So let's take that off. Oh geez. Okay. And they really care about wrapping up these hooks. Holy cow. So there it is. It's kind of weird because I can like smell scent on it. I can like smell like coffee. Like it's weird. But yeah, I got this bait. For like one reason, because uh, coming up pretty soon is the Wisconsin pre-spawn, and I live in Wisconsin, so uh, when fish are coming out of the ice and like getting ready to get ready for the spawn and stuff, they love finesse baits. I uh, and a jerk bait like that with like a curved body and a nice like shooting down lip that'll just make it go crazy when you flick it in the water. Uh, they love that kind of stuff. They'll they'll strike that like crazy, um, because they they've been sitting in cold water. They haven't really seen any bait fish, and 
they're hungry for it so that's what they're going to be going after and uh especially i like this one because it's got a little it's got a little rattle right there right behind its eye um it's got a rattle and that that makes noise and uh it really just like vibrates makes noise draws the fish attention and it makes them excited like i was saying they've been sitting in the cold water and they want to eat like they've been craving some bait fish and now they're finally going to get it also i got it in like this perch color like kind of tiger perch color because um that's also the season that perch start uh coming in and start making their beds and having babies so they're in that area that I, they fish like i fish like the marinas and the rivers and sometimes they'll go out on the boat but not really a lot they'll be like in the in the areas where perch are going to be coming in and that's like a little easy target for them and it's something they're used to you know matching the hatch so that's why i picked out this uh kind of perch looking bait i really like this bait i got high hopes for it and uh I really think I'm going to catch some donkeys with that one. But, uh, yeah. So, that's the Yozuri Crystal Minnow. That one is 4 and 3 eighths inches long. It weighs a half an ounce. So, yeah. I'm probably going to be throwing that on like a 7 foot medium heavy rod. All my rods are right here. You can't really see them. But, yeah, they're tucked in my bed. But, yeah. So... That's the uh, Yozuri jerk bait. Moving on to the Rapala scatter wrap. Let's get this baby open. Came out pretty easy actually. It's pretty satisfying. Pull that out. So there's some reasons I got this one. Like I was saying, when fish are coming in, they're gonna be lethargic, gaming out of water. They love finesse baits. And this is a scatter wrap. It's got that little curved lip right there so it makes it kind of shoot all over the place Rapala really got this one down like they really uh made this into a good lure i've used this kind of lure before with the scatter wrap uh up north in manila and i've caught smallmouth on it and smallmouth absolutely love it because uh when they're sitting up on the rocks and you throw this and it's shooting all over the place it looks like a real crayfish i mean this one's in the black and blue craw color and it looks like a real crayfish because it's darting all over the place. It's, you don't work it slow. You work it fast. And you make it look like a real crayfish. So that triggers like a reaction. And it's reaction strike. They see it and they're like, oh, crayfish, I'm going to eat that. It's a tasty little crunchy snack. But uh, yeah, off that, the uh, main reason I got it is because it's like kind of a finesse bait. And uh, fish, when I'm going to be fishing the pre-spawn, they love finesse baits. They love baits like this that are going to be moving around, kind of not being normal, and, uh, like, they're slow, and they also want food, because they're going to be getting ready for the spawn, and crayfish are, like, what they eat the most. So, when you are, like, casting this along the rocks, and it's darting all over the place, hitting the rocks, it's waking them up, and, uh, it's, make, it's pissing them off, and they, they really want... They really want to get that because they're trying to get get settled into their home and uh you know they don't really want this little bugger annoying them so they're gonna eat it and get rid of that problem pretty quick so yeah that's uh the main reason i got this also because i just really love craw baits and black and blue baits black and blue is probably my favorite color um i don't really like the natural ones as much as i like black and blue like uh black and blue craws black and blue uh spinners you know just stuff like that i love black and blue but yeah i don't usually get to see a black and blue craw crankbait and uh, that's what i really wanted so picked that up it was perfect at walmart yeah so these two baits right here yo zuri yep yo zuri fire tiger little clear minnow jerk bait that's going to be a cranker during the finesse season pre-spawn and then the Rapala Scatter Wrap uh, in the black and blue craw color. Beautiful bait. I've used this kind of bait before and it always yields great results. So if you want these, I will uh, just go to your local Walmart. I'm sure they have them. I've seen them at Fond du Lac, Oshkosh, Appleton. <clears throat> Pretty common baits. Uh, yeah, I definitely 
it definitely suggests something like this for the beginner fisherman because it I promise you it will yield results something like this or like a square bill in like a brighter color of course when you're beginning fishing like that's what I started to use when I really got into like deeper kind of fishing and I got off the live bait I started to use like bright colored finesse crankbaits and that would just it would just always yield results like I'd go out with a cheap little cotton cordell square bill and uh, I would catch like five fish a day like they just love that kind of stuff especially in like uh, rocky areas when you're knocking them off the rocks and you're really waking them up and getting them to go for that reaction strike so yeah so that's where the channel's been uh, thanks for uh, watching this video make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one